Hello War Gamers and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War with me, Bubble Box. We had a nice battle in the last episode, although I did lose my cavalry. And I found out why, because one of the... Uh, I wasn't um, actually giving it enough recruits, apparently. Um, I missed out there, which is why they died so easily. But what I am learning, if we go to Korea, and we'll use our Korea point on army organisation. And what I have learnt so far is that you need a shitload of units in this game you cannot sit back and not add to your units early on in the campaign and it's no good having our nice artillery and nice cavalry and skirmishers if you haven't got the infantry numbers in front of them or around or as the core of your core it just doesn't work so you've got to have the infantry so we're going to be building up a lot more infantry now and then building out our divisions hopefully so we can get more um, uh, brigades in each division by adding to, uh, um, by adding to our army organization I would have done that from the start if I'd known but we have to soldier on and uh, this is the map we're going to be taking on one of the battles here so we need to get Loomis up to 1500 units first of all so we'll apply that right there he's also got a promotion um, a level 2 promotion as well so either we can have melee morale stamina or we can have firearms reloading with a little bit of a less accuracy or we can have firearms a little bit less reloading and accuracy. Well, I think we'll have because these maps are so big and they move around so much I think we'll take melee morale and stamina for our secondary promotions. Same for Walton um, he hasn't got a promotion but uh, we need to get him to 1500 using the standard Springfield 1842s again. Arnold has got a promotion, a level 1 this time so either we can have stamina efficiency and speed speed again liking that one or morale efficiency I think we'll take the speed one with the speed on and get him up to 1500 as well and then we've got Ch Chapman who also has got the Springfield so yeah we've got to whack him up to 1500 as well he's also got a promotion um, we're going to take the speed one as well I think and then what have we got Ch -ch 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 -ch. we've got uh, Cake. Oh, Kess. Cake's got the reboard farmers. We need him. We've got plenty of farmers as well, so we're going to take them up to 1500. And then our guns. Now, I'm going to change around the guns a little bit. This guy is going to get full guns. We're going. We better not lose him. We're going to need him well protected, but we're going to get him 24 guns. But Woods, we're going to disband him. And the reason we're disbanding him is because we're going to get another infantry unit with 1,500 men in. Stick to the M1482 uh, Springfields. So we'll create that. And now here, I'm not going to get skirmishers because I just I did uh, also found out that you can uh, release the skirmishers from your main regiment. So you can release a skirmisher of like 150 units or something and they can go off and scurry around the map for you. So we don't really need specific skirmishers unless we have a specific job for them. So here I could get cavalry or I could get yet another but we're going to try the cavalry again. Yes we're going to try the cavalry once again and we're going to try the palmettos and we're going to create an immensely strong cavalry group as well. Sir. Leaves us only with 36,000 and we've got another core to build up as well before the next big battle. So these guys had better do well. So uh, I think that's everything we need pretty much. We've got reputation which remember we can spend if we need to. Um, let's go back to army. Uh, we can spend if we get desperate um, for cash or for spring. You know we can we can spend some of this. But uh, at the moment, I think we're kind of okay. So let's go back to this map. We're going to do river crossing. A portion of your army advances to West Virginia to strengthen Lincoln's interests in the area. But rebels guard the river passage that you must cross. Advance and defeat the rebels. Then that block your path. Screening one or two hills, securing one or two hills ahead of you will convince them to abandon the area. Okay, so let's deploy. By deploy I mean move on to this map and we deploy our core and you can see what I mean we've got 8 out of 12 brigades when in reality we could have 12 if we 
done it properly from the start. So they've got 11,000 soldiers. We've got 10,500. So it looks pretty, um, pretty close, to be honest. But it looks like they've kind of got the high ground. So we'll have to see how that one goes. General, a portion of your troops must advance to West Virginia soil to support Lincoln's interests in the area. This narrow river passage must be crossed in order to reach your destination on time. However, our pickets report enemy presence on the large hill ahead of us. It seems that the rebels are seeking to confront us. I don't know what pickets are. I know they're, are they kind of scouts, I guess. Someone can let me know maybe in the uh, comments below. Probably more Confederates will wait for us on this hill that controls the road junction. It is most certain that the rebels will be ill-supplied and not capable of a prolonged fight. General, your vanguard must scout ahead and clear the path for our army. Holding at least one of those two hills will certainly convince the rebels to withdraw. Okay, so we've got most of our army here. Um... Here we're just going to keep one of our infantry regiments, I think. Because we're going to do a feint on the bridge and try to kind of... Yeah, I don't know, it's a, quite a big map. I was thinking maybe to flank round. I don't want to throw everything across the bridge because that's just the worst strategy ever. So we could flank here and attack this hill, but this is still a lot of open ground. Uphill open ground is the worst, absolute worst type of terrain to attack on. Um, we could flank around here to this hill, but then they could still attack us in the rear. So the best way is to actually flank all the way around here, which is going to take us quite a long time. Which is the bad part of that plan. The good part is we've got cover to attack this hill with. And we've got cover even if we, have to, we can, are able to push up to this hill as well. The bad bit is it's going to take us a long time. But that, I think that's the only strategy open to us. Otherwise, we're just going to lose too many men. Full frontal attacks are just no good at all. So let's get most of our infantry. We'll get bubble box down here. We'll get our, um, our cavalry. The guns are going to go over here to fire at this hill with our one brigade of infantry. To just try and keep them busy. And everyone else, uh, we'll leave the artillery. We'll leave our resupply here. And that's uh, that's the plan, guys. That's the plan. A feint here and an attack around the side, a uh, flanking attack onto this hill. And hopefully we'll have time to push into this hill as well, if we need to. So let's start and a, oops, no, start battle. And I'll quickly pause because the first thing I'm going to do is just detach some skirmishers from here. And just move them first towards the hill and we'll move our guns towards the hill and then we'll move our guys towards the hill as well and our supply so that's them done all of these are going to move as far across to here as I can take them they're all going to move over to there and then our horses are going to go over there and General Bubble Box himself shall go but I'm going to also detach some skirmishers uh, from here and they're gonna make their way forth I think as well I think that'll do us yep cool let's go are we going I think we're going we're going we're moving we'll just double time it just until they get into the action this is gonna we just need to get a vision on what's going on across here Okay, let's turn it down now. Skirmishes are pretty much there. Let's get on top of this hill. See what's going on. Oh, we have skirmishers. Okay, let's stop, 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 stop for a second. No, I don't mean stop. I mean the skirmishers need to stop. Or halt. No, don't hold fire. Just stop. Halt. Wait for some support. Guns. Start destroying some infantry. Okay, how are we doing over here? Uh, where's our cavalry? Our cavalry should be moving a lot faster than that. Come on. Skirmishers, get across here. Bubble box, you better just stay, stay there a second. We don't want to lose you. We don't want to lose our great general. So we'll bring these guys around to attack these skirmishers. These skirmishers can probably just stay there spotting for our artillery. 
who are hitting not a great deal, to be honest. What's the enemy doing? Not a lot. So we've got two brigades, three brigades of infantry and two brigades of artillery. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's five of their brigades sitting right there being sort of engaged by two of ours so that's good that means that um, we're going to have numbers are going to be good on this side but let's keep these guys moving forward hopefully they'll have enough condition to do some serious damage once they get into position That's quite a large skirmisher brigade, actually, 257. So I'm not going to engage. I'm just going to hold off, I think. I'll just hold there, but we'll keep an eye on them. Our skirmishers are spotting for our guns. I don't want to do anything silly. I want them to come to us rather than the other way around. It would be really nice if they actually pulled units from this hill because I imagine they've got half their forces on this hill and half their forces on this hill. Which would make sense. Okay, let's push forward with our s these guys. Okay, we're making progress. Killing the odd unit. Not enough. We just need to uh, get ourselves into some nice positions. Okay, let's just move up to this water line here. It'd be nice to get some flanking going on. Some horses there. I don't know whether we've been spotted. Well, we, in fact, if we've spotted their cavalry, their cavalry probably have, well, have definitely spotted us. Let's put it that way. How many killed? How many we killed? 15. Okay. It's better than Nout. We'll send the skirmishers across first. Then the cavalry. Let's keep moving. Oh, bubble box, don't get left behind. Well, they're not really moving. But we're not doing them a massive amount of damage either. 17 kills. Okay, let's send the horses out on this open ground to have a scout around. Send the skirmishers just up to the edge there. Keep moving forward. Okay, I've sp we're spotted. There's a there's a brigade there, 1,329. Let's check out what's on the other side. There's the horse. These ho these uh, cavalry are moving over. Got to be a little bit careful. Let's move. Where are they going? Let's move up. All right. Okay, we're engaging. Oh, we've got another brigade here moving up. Oh, this is this is a bit risky. That means there's quite a lot moving in there. It means we've got to move fast now. Let's get into position. Let's get into position. Bubble box up. Let's move forward a little bit more with Upton. Because we could be in trouble here. I'm just going to withdraw these, actually. Let's fall back. Yeah, it's got getting hit. Let's fall back. I'm just going to put them in the tree line here just to keep an eye on stuff. They can come out and attack if they need to. Right, doesn't seem to be anything else around this side. I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's go. Let's attack. Okay, Ebony is... Looks like he's going back. 
It might be because we're attacking here now. Oh, Upton's been spotted. Get out of there. While he's done that, let's charge, I think. Shall we? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's take the hill. Come on, let's just all... Should we all charge? We won't all charge. We'll have some support in fire. Let's get the skirmishers out in there as well. Bring Upton back to try to hassle the... Oh, hello! We're getting attacked here. We're taking a few down in the open, though. Gotta be careful we're not attacked. Let's get the skirmishers just across, maybe, to help out. Okay, they're routed. Let's move, let's move Upton in. Skirmishers need to help out here. I'm worried they're going to attack across that bridge. Really weak there. Oh, there's skirmishers. Let's attack the skirmishers. Come on, let's all move. Let's move, 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 move. Move up. Oh, Upton, Upton, get out, get out. Are they actually broken? Oh, let's, let's just charge in there. Oh, they're routed. Nice. Okay, Chapman. Um, who's got good condition? Nobody, basically. You have. Right, you're going to move across here then. Anybody with good condition moves over there. Anybody without good condition moves forward. How are we doing over here? Oh, not too good. Not too good. Okay, guns. Move out. Get back. Get back, guns. Get back. You go and hide. Okay, what we don't want to do is get exposed. We need to move up through the trees. We've only got 138 left. So Loomis, you need to move forward. You need to move forward. You need to move over there as well. You guys need to kind of just get rid of those skirmishers. You can get into a sort of a holding pattern in the trees. I want you just to fall back for a second. Now I want you over there. Cavalry over there as well. Our guns need to run away for the second, and our skirmishers can kind of just protect them. In fact, I think we've regained here, so let's bring our guns back out, bring our skirmishers back out. Right, we need to get into position to push this hill now. Bubble box, come on! What you doing, man? Right, we need to get into these trees. And assault from there. hunker down there and see if we can get some shots off. Oh, they are attacking the bridge here. Got ten, I've got a big brigade going across the bridge. Okay, actually, you just start moving into there. Engage Scott. We need to start engaging, and then you two can go to the far side. Got some skirmishes as well. I'm not sure where they can really go to do any anything decent. Let's just put them up here to guard in guard this. Are our guns backfiring again? Yes, they are good. Oh, there's a load of units here though. Let's attack across. Good, good, good. Right, we are now engaging over here. Bubble box is in a nice position, so we need you over there. And we need you, my friend. 
Where are you? I can't get to you. Where are you? Come on. There. Into there. And we'll bring our horses round over there. Chapman may have to go across open ground. How are we doing? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Our guns are looking a little bit... Uh, skirmishers, come on! Move forward! In front of the guns! You need to withdraw. Okay, okay. 105 to go. Still three, four. Oh, they've still got so many units. Let's go for a melee attack. Let's go for a charge. Okay, they're wheeling round. Let's pull back. Are we charging? Seriously? You don't want to do that. Okay, let's start to move Chapman up the hill. In fact, let's engage with Chapman. How are we doing over here? Okay, we'll move these guys forward again. Let's leave them there for now. Right, oh, they're committing themselves, which is good because we're in the trees and they're in the open. So we just need to flank these guys. Oh, that's a beautiful volley into the side. Very nice. Attack these skirmishers before they take our guns down. Leave our lovely 10 pounders alone. Oh man, we slaughtered a load of them. Look at them. Look at the death. Okay, you're going to have to move up, guys, because we need to start moving in. We're going to have to move out of the trees. Let's take the guns down. We've got to go for it. We've got to go for it. Why are you sitting there? Move! Send in the... I'll leave the skirmishes there. These guys are holding okay. How many guns have we got? Have we lost any guns? We've got 21. We lost three guns. Oh, come on. We're not far away from winning this. You attack there. Move up, move up. Take those guns down. Nice, nice, nice. Attack the next set of guns. Watch your flank. Come on, Cake. Upton, get back in on the battle. Come on, guys, let's move forward. Ow, that hurt. Here they come. Holy moly. Okay, we're going to have to engage here. Let's charge. It's getting ugly. It's getting really ugly. And I think they've got too many for us. I really think they've got too many for us. Yeah, we're routed there. Holy shit. Oh my god. Get back in the fight. We're really hammering them, but I don't think we've got enough. <sighs> Can we target this blob, please? Upton's doing a great job. Great job. 
Right, has anyone got any condition left to charge? Nobody has, have they? Come on, Chapman, get back in. Come on, guys, can up to do another attack, please? Charge again. Come on, move up, move up. Oh, that was a nice volley. Oh, they're all routed. Get in there, bubble box. Come forward, Walton. Chapman's friggin' exhausted. Nobody's moving forward anymore. Oh, these guys are routed now, taking a lot of damage. Our guys are routed back there. Oh, this bugger's back in on the battle. We're going to have to wheel round to attack here. We need to take these guns down. Back in there. Upton, get back. Cake, get back. Running out of time. I don't think, well, I don't know whether we've done enough. It did say get them off one of the hills, didn't it? So, we've kind of got them off one of the hills. forward bubble box one last charge from Upton okay I think it's over you can finish the fight. Shall we finish the fight? Or if we continue the fight, do we... Uh, let's finish the fight. See what, and it's, Oh, it's a victory! Oh! I, I honestly didn't know whether we won that one or not. Okay, good. Okay, so infantry-wise, we lost 3,000. They lost 4,000, so we're not fairly even. We lost three guns. They lost seven guns. We lost 330 cavalry! Those bloody cavalry again. They only lost two. So fairly even, really, on the losses. Um, officers, plenty of promotions. Uh, no lost losses, though, so that's good. Captured a load of, captured a load of Springfields, really? Okay, cool. So here we are. Battle rewards, 110,000 and 4,800 units. Uh, but it's the big one next. It's the Battle of Shiloh. And uh, we haven't got too much money to get all our units back to full strength and build another core with. We have got plenty of men. But we'll deal with that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please do give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And comment below if you can give me any kind of tips about some of the units. That are something maybe that I'm missing. Not like spoilers, but just something that I'm missing. That would be great. Just comment below. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.